Bryce. Hey Bryce, how did you uh, find out that the Eagles were interested and how did this all come about? Uh, just like when everything opened up on Monday. I mean, I, I've been seeing rumors and stuff, but when everything opened up, my agent hit me up and was like, I think they're going to come after you and stuff like that. What made it a good fit? Uh, really just the culture and like the, the team that's being built here, the guys that have been here over the years, just balling out, grinding and, and getting dub, dubs on Sundays. So I feel like I fit in with that hardworking group. Do you feel like you're ready for a, a more expanded role in the defense? I think 51% of the defensive snaps is the most you ever played this season. Do you feel like you're ready for more than that? Uh, yes, sir. I feel like I'm, I'm capable of uh, taking on a bigger role and and really like doing as much as I can to help us win on Sundays. What do you attribute your explosion to sacks from 2022 to 2023? What do you attribute to that? Uh, just being consistent as far as my work and my process throughout the week, really honing in on my opponent's weaknesses, uh, listening to my coaches as far as like a rush plan, working together with my teammates on the D line, and just like. Like working like as a team to like beat the opposing offensive line versus just like winning one on ones. As an undrafted guy, what perspective did you have signing that contract? Uh, it just meant a lot to me just knowing that I came in playing for Penny, so to speak, in comparison to other guys in my position, and uh, finally being able to sign that deal and and solidify myself as one of the the some like up there with like top of. Uh, like my position group is, is really cool. How much more do you feel like there is in your game? Uh, you had a big year last year, but do you feel like there's there's a lot more to kind of grow as a player? Yeah, definitely. I feel like there's always room for growth, uh, especially like when you get around the, the edge group and the, the D-line group that we have here uh, with Hassan and all those guys that have just been going at it, going hard for the last however many years. Like there's a lot of room to grow and to uh, learn from the guys in my room. Which uh, pass rushers have you em emulated coming up? Uh, I mean, Von Miller, TJ Watt, Shaq Beard, Miles Garrett. I watch Hassan a lot. I watch Michael Parsons a lot. Just all those guys and try to pick things from their game that they do at a high level and add it to my own. There's been talk about Hassan, Hassan maybe being traded. Are you of the mindset you hope not? I mean, I've heard the rumors, but at the end of the day, like I'm just looking forward to beating the guys in the room and like hopefully I can learn from him and uh, some of the other guys that are in the room that have played at a high level. Have you spoken to anyone in that room so far? Yeah, I've spoken to, uh, I think, uh, Brandon uh, BG hit me up on Instagram and was like, welcome to the team. But besides that, I haven't uh, been in, in contact with them yet. You had a pretty successful game against the Eagles uh, last season. What do you remember about that particular game? Uh, I just remember, like, us being really dialed in on our, on our game plan as a defense. And uh, we were really looking to try to stop Jalen in, in whatever ways that we could, knowing like how explosive he is as a quarterback and how explosive the offense is. Uh, but myself personally, I was just able to win my one-on-ones and, and get home with my D-line and uh, make an impact. How much do you expect your role and the way you play defense to change from last year with the where you broke out to with the, the Eagles now? You said how much do I? You expect to change? What are the keys to an expanded role? Yeah, um, I mean, I feel the base of the role would be getting after the quarterback. But outside of that, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help us win on Sundays, regardless of if that's, if that's dropping the coverage or stopping the run more or running more twists or stunts, like whatever it is, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Do you see yourself Do you see yourself competing for a starting spot? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm at that point. Do you have a preference, left or right side, or does it not matter to you? Do you, do you feel you're stronger on one side or the other? No, sir. I don't really have a preference. I just do what's best for the defense and, and go out there and put my best my best foot forward. What were the first few years of your career like when you, know, you probably weren't playing as much as you hoped? You probably weren't having the production that you wanted. Um, what kind of got you through that until, you know, until last year when it all came together? Uh, honestly, just finding ways to get better every day and uh, just taking it day by day, just continuing to get better 1% and just let the result take care of itself. What part of your game are you most proud of? Uh, I feel like my toughness, my get off, my relentless attitude when it comes to uh, making plays, whether it's chasing down a quarterback or setting the edge. What's your next what, step? Do you feel like one-on-ones is maybe your greatest strength? Yeah, I feel like my ability to win one-on-ones is definitely one of my best uh, attributes. What's the next step for you? 
uh, just continue to grow, continue to get better, and just continue to find ways to help help the team win on Sundays. What do you know about Vic Fangio and his defenses? Uh, he puts guys in the best position to make plays. I mean, especially with like the edge groups he's had over the years. Uh, they they've been some of the best. So I'm looking forward to playing in a part of his defense. What did it mean to you last year to lead that team, and it's a very good defensive team, to lead that team in sacks? Uh, it meant a lot, just because uh, we were we had to grind it out for a lot of those sacks, um, and uh, just to be able to lead that group, like the guys we had in that room, like Q, JFM, Jermaine, like all those guys were ballers. So to lead us in sacks was a cool accomplishment. What were you doing on Monday? What was the, the scene for you? So what? What were you doing on Monday? What was the scene as as you heard? And uh, what were you doing yeah, I was I was really just training, just working out in my. Agent was calling me, letting, giving me updates and stuff like that. Where do you think you could? Did they just stick you with 47, or does that like have any kind of significance for you? Um, I. Are you gonna change that here or no? Uh, yeah. So I had I had 47 in high school, and then I think they did just kind of stick it to me, but I happen to have it in the past. But I think I will end up with zero this year. Yeah. As an undrafted guy, as you came in to where you are right now, standing in front of us, where do you think you've improved the most to, to, to get you in this position? I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger uh, in my game, whether it's stopping a run or, or a bull rush, and I feel like I've gotten stronger. And that's probably like my biggest improvement. Why zero? Uh, I mean, it's just a cool number. <laughs> a lot of the single digits were already taken up. So uh, I think that'll just fit best for me. Being an undrafted guy, is that is that something that kind of sticks with you your whole career? Definitely, just like the fact that you came out and not a single team thought you were um, worthy of a draft pick. It kind of just stays in the back of your mind. Like even even with having a new contract, just knowing that like everybody, like most of the guys on the team were drafted and were pinned as automatically just better than you. So it's definitely going to stick with me. What other teams were pursuing more? Uh, what other teams were pursuing you? Um, well, I mean, the Jets, of course, the Giants were on the table, Commanders were on the table, Vikings, Seahawks, like, there was a good bit of teams in it. So the, uh, the, the salary aside, what factors were you considering as you were, like, looking at, at, at those teams? Uh, just how, how much they wanted me and, and if they had a plan for me or if they just wanted to stick me out there and just let me do my thing. Uh, and also the culture, like I said before, like, the culture here is great. Like the Eagles are, uh, uh, like of the best in the league when it comes to consistently winning and consistently having good players and have them go out there and do their thing on Sunday. What is it about yourself as a player, even as a person you haven't, you don't think people have seen yet from you? Um, I just want to be able to show that I'm one of the best in the league, and I, I want to continuously work and go out there and prove that every Sunday. Good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.